What's going on YouTube? This is Flamesword Captain Sasquatch, and today I'll be starting up the basic series. What the basic series will be will be map overlay callouts, because when I first jump into a new game, I want to know the maps and the callouts of the maps, so I could play with my friends, and it'd be a lot easier since I understand how the map works. The second would be strategy videos. Anywhere from beginning strategies, overall strategies, and strategies to set up for certain weapons or power-ups. And then some jump videos. I really had, you know, a bunch of jumps that I think would uh, help a lot of you guys out to add to your gameplay and give you the competitive edge on other players. So let's get right into it. So, when you're playing MLG, if you're red team, you spawn on the side that we're at right now, and if you're blue team, you spawn on the other side. But the way I'm going to go through the callouts is I'm going to make it like a walkthrough. Uh, basically, whatever base you spawn on, you're going to call it our base or their base. So if you spawn on this base, everything on my side is you're going to be spawning here throughout the entire game when, when you're dying and respawning. So it's always going to be our and theirs. So let's get right into it. So right here is the flag. This is flag or base. You, you'll hear it from anywhere. During flag game types, the flag spawns right here. So that's why you, you get the flag call out. This is computer. This is also on the other side. Just on the opposite side, it's a symmetrical map. So every call that I'm going to give you works on both sides because it's a symmetrical map. So this is the computer side of the base. And this is the needler corner. A lot of people like to hide in both of these corners, so you want to be descriptive about it. He's hiding computer room. He's hiding needler side. Once you go through this big thing, this big thing is called window. Window is from this two all the way up to this white pipeline. After this white pipeline, you have this little creek right here. A lot of people like to call it cuts. Status quo calls it wings. So if you guys are playing with me and you ever hear me call it wings, I want you to be ready for it. If you follow the wing, it leads to S2. It's called S2 because this is where the sniper spawns. S2, as you continue walking this way, you have triangle. Like I said, it's a symmetrical map, so a triangle on this side means there will be a triangle on that side, just like we saw. As you continue, you have jetpack room right there and bottom drop, which is starts from right where I am to all the way up to where this 2 basically ends over here. That's bottom drop. When you get to this point, this is top stairs and this is back stairs right here you want to be descriptive with your call out so if he's at the bottom of the top stairs you know he's most likely in this area right here and if he's at the top of the back stairs you know he's most likely in this area so we got the jetpack room again and now we go behind the base so here we have a sandbag and health pack here so we make it very very simple call outs he's either hiding sandbag or health pack why do we give these two each their own call-outs instead of just saying health pack or overall just sandbag? It's because depending on what side you, spit, you hide, say for example you're on the enemy's base. A lot of people like to hide right here in the health pack and wait for people to come into the flag and then back whack them. So that's why we call this sandbag and that health pack. Underneath the base is basement. Very simple. As we come up here now, where this ramp starts is big door. Big door goes all the way from this ramp all the way up to here. Why is it called big doors? Because rockets spawn right here, and this is what we call rockets, but there's a big door, so, and then Bungie gives you just the call of big door in general. So we call this whole entire area big door. This thing right here is pillar. Uh, you want to be descriptive, like I said before, so if you say they're hiding their pillar, it means they're right here. But if you say hiding big door pillar, you know he's hiding over here. So being descriptive of callouts allows your team to get the edge on the other people because you're getting a precise location of where the player is. So rockets leads to the main ramp. Main ramp is this ramp that leads all the way to here and ends right here. Next to the main ramps are trainings. Trainings are where these plasma grenades are. Very simple. Bubbles are where these vents are. These vents lift all the way up to here to where the bubbles are. Now, before I said this was S2, now you're like, why is it called S2? Well, this is called S2 because it's the second level, and underneath it is S1. So S1 is right here. And depending, like I said before, what base you spawn, if, for example, if you spawn a red base over there, then you're going to say our S1, which is this side of S1, or their S1, which is that side of S1. Also, past this yellow line right here is just bottom mid, where the main ramp ends to before the S1 starts, you just say bottom mid. And you can just be very descriptive by saying our bottom mid, their bottom mid, depending, you know, where they're around, they're at bottom mid heading to main ramp and just being super descriptive so your teammates can know the precise locations of the enemy. As you pass S1, 
you go into tri lift. This room is called bottom tri lift because there's three lifts. If you take this lift right here, always it will be called camel lift because it brings you out to the power up, which is camel for this case. So over here is outside next to the camel. So when you hear play, when you usually when you're playing with people, you're going to hear spawn outside since this is the, really the only outside part of the map. It's very common. So, if, like again, if I spawn red base, which is through this door, I'm gonna say our outside or spawning there's there outside over there. This little room right here, door I mean, is a small door. Small door leads to S3 is what you hear a lot of people. But again, status quo likes to have different callouts. So we call where this big circle is is a lobby. So if people were to lift up this lift, they'd be lifting to our lobby since we're usually red team. And red team always spawns on this side. So this is our lobby, and this is their lobby. And you could always vice versa it depending what team you are. Up here is top drop, this whole entire room. Underneath the top drop is the bottom drop, like I said before. So bottom drop from right there goes all the way to that point right there. If you come out of the top drop, you see street door. Street door is this door right here. Once you go through the street door, you have the street. The street goes all the way up to the bubble door. Like I said before, this vent brings you up to the bubble. Bubble is all the way up here where the vent brings you up to. So street goes all the way from this door all the way up to this point right here. Once you get to this point behind this door, this is radio. Radio is this entire image that you can see on the screen right now because you could hide on these little uh, vent type of things right here and be sneaky and shoot down people on big door. When you go through the bubble, you have a catwalk that connects both bubbles. So it's a simple call out catwalk. That's how that's all for countdown. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like flames that already knew this stuff, then definitely just like the video for the cool moonwalking Spartan. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Later guys.